This video looks at basic shoulder anatomy, including the rotator cuff. The first thing we see when we look at the model on the right side is the superficial muscles. These are the muscles that provide the gross movements of the shoulder. We see the biceps, the pectorals, the upper traps, the anterior delts, the middle deltoids, the mid traps, the lower trapezius, the posterior deltoids, the triceps, and we see the lats, the latissimus dorsi. As we turn the model to the left and dissect the superficial muscles back, we see the deep muscles of the shoulder, the rotator cuff, that are responsible for fine tuning movement as the gross movements happen. The rotator cuff is comprised of four muscles, the subscapularis, the teres minor, the infraspinatus, and the supraspinatus. As we zoom in tight on the shoulder and select the four rotator cuff muscles, we can see how the rotator cuff surrounds the shoulder. When we remove the rotator cuff muscles, we can see the shoulder joint capsule that surrounds the shoulder. As we replace the rotator cuff muscles and remove the arm bone or the humerus, we can see a socket that is made up of the shoulder blade, the rotator cuff muscles, the capsule, and a small ring of cartilage called the labrum. Looking inside, we can see that the depth of the socket and therefore the stability is provided mostly by the capsule and the rotator cuff and less so by the bone of the shoulder blade, the glenoid, and the labrum. To find out more about rotator cuff tears, check out our blog.